Hey, Destiny Church. Have you ever found yourself in a situation that seemed hopeless? Maybe it's a financial situation, a loss of a job, maybe a, maybe a doctor's prognosis. Maybe it's brokenness in your family or in your marriage. You see, the day that Jesus was crucified was a pretty dark day. And so many had pinned their hopes on him. We even find his disciples on the road to Emmaus say that, that they hoped that he was the one that would redeem Israel. And yet, here on the cross, the brutality and viciousness of Roman rule is breaking down upon him. Hopeless. Because death is the final chapter, right? But Jesus went to the cross convinced of a faithful God that even in the midst of the darkest moment, the greatest hopelessness the world has ever experienced, he believed that God could step in. And we find Jesus crying from the cross, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now, keep in mind, Jesus is not saying that God has turned his back on him and that God has forsaken him on the cross. No, what Jesus is doing here is he's quoting Psalm 22. And like many Jewish teachers, when he's quoting an Old Testament scripture, he quotes the first part of the verse, knowing his audience is going to fill in the remaining part of the passage. And in Psalm 22, it begins in verse 1 with those words, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? See, the psalmist he, in this psalm, he's feeling abandoned, rejected by God, crushed by those around him. But if you read on, it ends with the psalmist's vindication and God's deliverance. Jesus' cry from the cross is not despair. It's not even feeling in that moment that God had forsaken him. It's in that moment of hopelessness that Jesus gives us a profound statement of faith. And in his final words, he quotes Psalm 31, Into your hands I commit my spirit. And again, allowing the audience to fill in the rest of that verse, Into your hands I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. See, Jesus never lost sight of God. No matter how dark the moment got or how hopeless the situation seemed, he believed that if he was faithful, then God would be faithful as well. And that same God that raised Jesus from the dead is the same God we serve today. So no matter what moment of hopelessness and despair you find yourself in, no matter how dark the night seems, never forget, God does not abandon us. God is with us. God will deliver us, and God will redeem us.